<laughs> so I stand here. Uh, <clears throat> I, I can't do this. I, uh, where, where does one start? And, and more mass graves found in Saskatchewan and uh, APTN will be covering it tomorrow morning. It's just... It always goes back to your children, your family, your roots. And the nightmares. And the horrors that our ancestors went through. And then O'Toole says that we are tearing down the very fundamentals of this country. A conservative leader who thinks he's going to be prime minister, O'Toole, or whatever the hell your name is. We're not tearing down any fundamentals when it comes to the mass graves and the little children that didn't get to come home. All you're doing is you're bloodthirsty for power. You don't care about the Canadians and you certainly don't give a hell or a shit about our people. Because this clown thinks he's going to be the next prime minister of Canada. He's going to be the second coming of Trump. If any one of you think that it's going to be okay to vote this jack off in. See, because I'm not only saddened, by more bodies found in Saskatchewan. Will it end for our people? Will it end for our ancestors? Because it's just not. The Hudson's Bay Company came to Canada 600 years ago. They brought with it disease and filth and racism. That's how long that this racism has been in this country before Canada was even a country. And I mean, no wonder nobody wants to celebrate Canada Day. Because I, for one, as an Indigenous man and an intergenerational residential school survivor, I am not patriotic. I stand before you a man without a country. I will never be patriotic again. I'll never be a proud Canadian ever again. I am ashamed of Canada. I am ashamed of the politicians and the politicians before them. My great grandmother was in residential school. My whole family was in residential school. And all that trickled down into my life and all that now is trickling down into my children's lives. Because I don't know how, I didn't know and I don't know how to be a parent. That's what saddens me. Because of governments, because we are wards of the government. We have been wards of the government far too long. 
And we as a people with these mass graves across Canada must fight back. Our voices, our ancestors' voices are calling for it. They must be heard. I've been thinking about this all month. Thinking about this since May, since the end of May. And the change that needs to come to Canada. I am full of poems. I am from native TikTok, native YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. We need to take drastic measures because the Canadian government won't. These are crimes against our people. These are crimes against humanity. I fought long and hard on what I'm going to say to you and how I'm going to go about it and what I'm going to say. Just ad lib, go from the heart. What are we going to leave behind for our children's children? How are we going to fight this racism, this juggernaut of radical hate that has plagued this country for 600 years? I ask each and every one of you, each and every one of you that is watching this video, like and share, like and share, comment and comment and comment. Let your ideas flow like a wildfire on the prairie, like a wildfire in the mountains. So our voices are heard worldwide. Because I am heartbroken. With these little children that didn't get a chance to come home. What my family went through. What your families went through. The injustice that happened to our people. I've been on this earth for 50 years. And for 45 of that I've seen racism. Pain and ugliness. And that pain and ugliness has trickled down into my family, into my children. My daughters went to Gun Lawn Collegiate in Winnipeg. My little daughter, my baby, was jumped from children at Glen Lawn Collegiate in Winnipeg. My little baby that's in foster care, she doesn't think I love her. She doesn't think I care about her, that I've abandoned her. Well, I haven't. I'm right here, sweetheart. fighting for my family, fighting against the racism in child and family services, fighting against the racism within the Winnipeg police, fighting from the injustice from the Manitoba government and the racist premier we have. The racist premier thinks it's okay to not sign a declaration to stop the landlords from jacking up their rent and believe me, I have. I've seen it on Facebook Marketplace, $2,200 a month. 
for a three-bedroom house. That's Palliser's doing. That's how racist he is. So stand with me, brothers and sisters. Share this. We need justice for these mass graves across Canada. Because my heart is breaking. And there's nothing anybody can do about it and I can't do a goddamn thing about it. My name is Philip Holmes. I am from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Facebook, native TikTok, native YouTube. Stand with me. Leave comments in the section below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. And let's stand united. A united front because I will no longer go into the, the darkness alone or silent.